In Premiere Pro, select your text layer, go to Opacity, select the Pen tool and create a mask like this one over your text. Then go to the Mask Properties and decrease the Mask Feather to 0. After you duplicate the text layer, go back to the Mask Properties and this time tick on the Inverted option. Now select the first text layer, then go up to Motion and create a keyframe onto position with the original value. Then move 20 frames forward and reposition the text like that. Then select the second text layer, go back to Motion and from position we're gonna reposition this text layer again. And here make sure that you match the keyframes with the first text layer. Also to make the animation even smoother, I'll select the keyframes, right click, temporary temporation, is in, then right click, temporary temporation, is out, and then I'll do exactly the same with the first text layer. In the next step, I'll select the first text layer, right click, and nest, then I'll go to effects, and type down drop shadow. I get the drop shadow effect and drop it over to the nested layer. Then I'll go to the effects control panel, go down to shadow, Change the opacity to 94, the direction 280 degrees, distance to 25 and here I did realize in terms of the drop shadow effect to work, I have to move the nested layer over the text layer. And now I can carry on by increasing the softness to 21. Then I'll duplicate this effect one more time, but this time I'll change the distance to 50 and the softness to 100. Then I'll create keyframes onto opacity so they can match with the animation of the text. And like that people, you can create a text slice cut animation in Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.